All right, y'all. It's AGP here. You feel me? And it's Thursday. It's, you know, we've got a lot of breaking news. This week, I'm kind of busy. But let's just jump into this. This is about the special editions for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now, that trailer was fired this morning. And, you know, I have a reaction up for it. So y'all should go check it out. But let's just get into what you are going to get with these special editions. You see what I'm saying? So with all of these, with the pre-order aspect, right, you're going to get an exclusive mission named the way of the berserker now this extra mission has you join a legendary norse berserker on his quest for revenge so that will be coming with any of the additions if you pre-order it so that's what's up so just starting off with the 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 most simplest of editions is the standard edition now the basic version of the game has no extra content other than the pre-order bonus if you pre-order it it just comes with the standard game so you know that's an easy one to remember the gold edition has the game of course and it also has the season pass with it the gold edition so if you want to get the gold edition you know it comes in at about 110 dollars and you know it's just the game and the season pass for the next edition is the ultimate edition you know what i'm saying the ultimate edition has a little bit more to it you know it has a season pass it has an ultimate pack now the ultimate pack consists of a bunch of in-game content a lot of it dealing with customization um and it, it what it consists of is the berserker gear pack the berserker settlement pack the berserker longship pack and it comes with a set of runes to improve weapons or gears which y'all know with the rpg aspect that ubisoft is jumping on with assassin's creed you know what i'm saying that's that's good that's sweet that's what we need and the last edition is the collector's edition now this version of assassin's creed valhalla comes with a 30 centimeter and this comes of course it comes with the game and the season pass and the pre-order content but it also comes with a 30 centimeter statue of the female char player character of eivor a collector's case, a steel book, a certificate of authenticity, a five centimeter statue of the male version of Eivor, a selected soundtrack, and a lithograph prints. That's a lot of stuff. I didn't need to read that last line, but that is a lot of stuff. So that is, those are the additions for this. Now, I told y'all y'all were going to be getting news from me on Assassin's Creed. It is one of my favorite franchises. This is my second video today. Y'all should go run up that reaction. Comment below. And let's just get into talking about what Assassin's Creed is going to be like in 2020. It's about to be a great experience, I'm thinking. I mean, I think this is going to bring on a lot of new people. And the reason why is because it's a Viking era and you don't get many games in the Viking era. And it's a free roam Viking era game with third person and RPG aspects. Can't really ask for anything much better than that. That sounds great to me. It actually kind of plays into the fact that I love Ghost of Tsushima because I think it's going to have a lot of aspects. And unfortunately, we don't get enough games that take place on the Eastern Hemisphere or in Africa. We almost act as though those hemispheres don't uh, aren't here or don't have kingdoms. Both continents had plenty of kingdoms in the past. But that's going to do with nothing right now. All I'm going to say is I'm very excited for this. And I'm going to hit y'all tomorrow with another video. It may not be about Assassin's Creed just because there's only been so much info coming out on Assassin's Creed right now. But I'm going to catch y'all next time, all right? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace. EMG. EMG. Can you play that again? Hey, 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 hey.